What's up everyone, I'm back with something a little different. Today I'll be showing you how to record the screen of your smartwatch. You will need a couple of things and for today I will be using the following. For hardware you will need a computer and in this case a MacBook. Of course, a smartwatch and a USB cable. And for software you will need the ADT bundle for Mac and the FFmpeg transcoder. You will find links to these software packages in the description. Now before we get started I have to point out that there isn't a software package with a wizard. You will have to type in a couple of commands in the terminal interface. If you follow my steps you'll be fine recording the screen, but you will need some knowledge of the command line interface if you want to do some more advanced recording. Basically what we'll do is tell the smartwatch to start recording, then we will copy the video file to a MacBook and then transcode it to a more workable file like MP4. So let's get back inside and let's get started. So before we can start with the recording, we will have to do one more thing. You will have to enable the developer options on your smartwatch. Now I'll be us using the Sony Smartwatch 3, but this should be the same for any smartwatch with Android Wear. Now to do this, you have to go to your smartwatch and go to settings. Then go all the way down to about. Then go down to build number and tap that a couple of times. Then you will see a message telling you that you are now a developer. Now that you are a developer, you can um, enable the ADB debugging needed to um, start working with the ADB package. So now that that's all set, you can now download the ADT bundle for Mac. Now there is a bundle for Windows as well, which should allow you to do the exact same, same thing. But in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do it on a Mac. So once you've done that, place it on your desktop so you know where it is. Now open up the folder and go to SDK. And then open up the terminal, type in CD, and then drag the platform tools folder into your terminal screen. And then press enter. And you should now be in the platform tools folder within your terminal. Now let's start with some commands. Um, instead of copying and pasting them, I will be typing them just for the sake of this video so, so that you can clearly see what I'm doing. So type in dot slash ADB shell to get into the smartwatch. Um, you will now receive a confirmation dialog on your smartwatch. Um, press OK and you are now working in your smartwatch. Now to start recording, um, issue the following command. Some smartwatches have the 280 by 280 resolution and some like my Sony Smartwatch 3 have a higher 320 by 320 resolution. My smartwatch has the higher resolution so I will be using that resolution within the command. Now type screen record dash dash size. Now here you should fill in the size that your smartwatch um, is using. So mine will be 320 by 320 dash dash O raw dash frames slash sd card slash test one two three dot raw so what you're doing here is you're telling the smartwatch to start a screen record with a resolution of 320 by 320 uh, you're using raw frames that's why you are using the raw format um, and you're telling it to place it in the sd card uh, with a file name of test one two three dot raw now press enter, and you are now recording on your smartwatch. Um, you will have a uh, lag, however, you won't be able to see this in the actual video. What you'll find it is the, uh, the, the resulting video might even have a slight speed up as it will try to fix the lag. So once you're done, you can press Control C once or twice to stop the process. And now we're back in the shell. Now the raw file is now saved on your smartwatch and since you cannot connect the smartwatch to your computer as a mass storage device, you will have to issue a command to copy it from your watch to your computer. Now the file is stored in the SD card, as you've just seen, of your smartwatch. Um, use the same name that you uh, filled in earlier on. Make sure you are not in the shell but just in the platform tools folder. So you can now click this away. 
and go back to the terminal. So this is a new screen. Um, CD dash uh, space platform tools enter. And now type in dot slash ADV pull because you want to pull it off the smartwatch and onto your um, computer. Um, you recorded it to the SD card slash test one, two, three dot raw. And you want to make it into test one, two, three dot raw. So it will now get the test one, two, three raw off the SD card of your um, smartwatch and make it into uh, test one, two, three dot raw, and it will place it in the platform tools folder. Press enter and we are done. Now to check this, go to the platform tools folder. I have a couple of others um, in here already, but now you will see test one, two, three dot raw. Now, as you've noticed, this is a raw file and to have a workable MP4 file, we will still have to convert it to such a format. Now for this last step, you will have to use um, FFmpeg. The download link is in the description of this video and once you've downloaded the zip file, unpack it and place it on your desktop. It should have three files in it, which are FFmpeg, FFprobe and FFserver. Now you don't have to use any of this. All you will have to do is go back to the terminal and type in SD, uh, CD and drag the FFmpeg folder to the terminal. Press enter and you are now in that folder. Um, you are now ready to issue the final command which is dot slash ffmpeg dash f raw video dash v codec raw video dash s 320 by 320 so if your resolution is 280 by 280, you will have to type in 280 by 280 here. Um, dash picks underscore FMT RGB 24 dash R 10 dash I. So now we will have to put in the um, location of the original raw file. So you'll have to go back to the ADT folder SDK platform tools, this is the original file that we've made and pulled onto our computer. So drag it into your terminal screen, then type dot, um, dash a n dash c uh, libx264, nearly there. And now we will want the um, we'll want to fill in the resulting file that we want. So we do, uh, don't want a raw file, but we want an MP4 file. But we still want to put it in the same um, in the same folder. So we can still drag this one over here, but just change it to MP4. And that should be it. Press Enter. It's all done. And as you can see now, it has a test123.mp4. Now this is the um, video I made for um, enabling the developer options. So let's check it out. Oh, of course, no, it's not. No, this is the video I've just made. Um, so yeah, that's the video and you can use this in your um, tutorials or other videos or yeah, whatever you want to use it for. So hopefully this little tutorial was useful to you. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video, if it was useful, and um, maybe let me know what you're, you will be using it for. Yeah, make sure to like this video, um, subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date to the latest um, apps, smartwatches, mobile phones, and other devices. See you next time, Marscamp out.